so we're going to uh, set up with Dan's cleaning station. Got some nice uh, King George water I bought yesterday. Obviously you need your bait board, you don't need your measurer. You always need a beer. Doesn't matter what time of the day it is. I think it's about 9 o'clock. Alright. You need to have a wet sort of station to start. You don't want to be cleaning, you don't want to be cleaning fish in just plain uh, dryness. So I've kept these in the fridge overnight. They should be nice and firm. Um, need tunes as well. Always need music. Uh, all right. Yep. Nice sharp knife for filleting. You need a scaler. If you don't scale the, the fish out where you are, you need to give them a good scale. Just move the beer out of the way. So to scale it, you can either use an actual scaler, which gets rid of all of the, the scales, the slime, all of that sort of stuff on the fish, any sorts of fish. The only time you don't scale fish is if you want to skin them as well. If you don't want the skin on, you leave the scales on, you remove the skin after. So we'll just go through just one fish here. Give it a spray. You can, you can also use the back of the knife as well. Don't ever use the sharp side, but use the back of the knife to scale fish. But anyway, this one's done. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start on this side. I'm right-handed. So we'll use this one. If you're left-handed, you start on this side. You come up here. I'm right-handed. So we'll start here. We'll come slide the knife up behind that fin. We'll come down, around, just to that fin, the bottom pectoral fin there, and to the top of there. So you don't want to go all the way through. And from there, you can feel the backbone. You twist in, hold your hand flat so you're not cutting yourself. And you just follow that backbone. You, you can feel it against the knife abrasing. Come up. There you have a nice, beautiful King George Whiting fillet. With all that backbone still there and you're not missing any meat. Turn the fish over do it again on the other side. So you have just come behind that fin, the side fin, straight down again I can feel the backbone and away I go along the back there. By rights there's another beautiful fillet. You should be able to see through the, the skeleton of the fish if you've done it properly, which I have, which is good. To get rid of all the the rib cage and all that, I start the knife up here and I just at an angle 45 degrees come down, slice it so you don't lose any of the meat. And that's all the rib cage right there. You've got a little V line as well. You've got so if you run your fingers from the top of the fillet until where the bones stop. You want to get behind that and make a little V, which is like a cut next to each side of the backbone. And there you go, there is one King George Whiting fillet, boneless. Same again on this side, just follow the, the line down so you have the rib cage out. Flip him over. Same again, felt for the backbone, done a V, and by rights, there is a perfectly good King George Whiting fillet. Just got a few more to do, and um, happy days.
Beautiful plate, King George whiting fillets, probably about 60 bucks a kilo in the shops. That's almost a kilo there, so happy days, very, very nice. Cheers for watching.